Madam Chair. Uh, good morning and welcome to our witnesses and, and all of our guests here today. Um, today we join together to discuss the important issue of cyber safety related to our nation's children. As a parent of two school-aged children, and I'm delighted to have my soon-to-be sixth grader middle schooler uh, son Tom just turned 11 this spring with me. He'll keep me in line if, uh, if I uh, misbehave, I think. But as a parent of two school-aged children, the issue of cy cyberbullying is very troubling and uh, certainly very personal as a parent. With the growth of technology that has included social networking sites, instant messaging, and text and picture, picture messaging on cell phones, bullying is no longer confined to brick-and-mortar classrooms, to school playgrounds, or to after-school bus rides. With children's growing dependence on computer technology and other forms of technology, it is ever important that we address the changing face of bullying, one that is often anonymous. Given how rapidly technology changes, the frequency of cyberbullying is not easily determined. However, certain studies have shown that up to 53% of kids are victim of cyberbullying and up to 23% of children have committed a bullying act through the use of technology. Most importantly, as parents, we must make it our priority to be cognizant of what our children are doing online and to equip them with the proper tools to identify, report, and effectively react to instances of cyberbullying. The most severe cases, such as Vermont teenager Ryan Patrick Housen, who committed suicide as a result of persistent abuse online by classmates who questioned his sexuality, and 15-year-old Phoebe Prince, who earlier this year also took her own life after relentless bullying by her peers, are heart-wrenching reminders of why our nation must become better educated on cyberbullying and better prepared or uh, helping our children be better prepared in dealing with this issue. Fortunately, action is being taken nationwide by school administrators, teachers, parents, students, nonprofit organizations, and the technology industry itself. All are working on developing both innovative and practical approaches to identify, prevent, and curb the prevalence of cyberbullying. As such, I very much look forward to the testimony of all of our witnesses. Uh, I want to especially pay tribute to um, our Girl Scout, uh, Dominique, we're delighted to have you here representing the scouting program and your peer group because it's your peers that we're trying to do right by and those to come. So uh, again, we appreciate all of you being here and being part of this here. With that, I yield back, Madam Chair.